sources are talking. And I think a lot of you are going to laugh because I've read a lot, and I mean a lot, a whole lot of comments saying things like, I hope Robin is pissed when she sees Christine happy with David. <laughs> well, 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 before we divulge. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I am so glad you're here. I hope you stick around and smash that subscribe button before the end of this video. And also click the little bell beside subscribe to all. That way you'll be notified whenever YouTube sends out notifications. Please like and share this video. Also comment your thoughts and opinions. I love hearing and reading what all of you have to say about all of these topics, so don't forget to drop a comment below. Robin is mad at the women for taking off and leaving her to deal with Cooter and his moods all by herself, added the source. It also pisses her off to see these women enjoying dates. <laughs> Lord of mercy. The source also claims Cody is mad because he's still wandering around, wondering why nobody respects him as the quote-unquote patriarch. My eyes rolled so far back in my head, I had to pull them back in place to all the people out here thinking, the world owes you the utmost respect. Respect is earned. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you go around disrespecting people, telling them what they will and will not do, all while ignoring the fact you're dealing with human beings, not robots, you're going to get very little, if any, respect. But none of this surprises me. I mean, Cooter does think he is the quote-unquote chosen one that God said should have multiple wives and kids to neglect and emotionally abuse. The countless stories I've heard out of multiple polygamous families. Cody acts no different than all the men. What a shame. Now look, Robin is also allegedly upset that the women have left, left her alone with Cody to deal with his mood swings. Now I'm going to be honest. I personally don't believe that at all. Do you? We all know Robin wanted Cody to herself from the jump. And we have all seen it. I think Robin is happy to be the only wife now. She's not considered the favorite no more. She's the only, the one and only. <laughs> I believe she's loving it. Loving every bit of it. She's like McDonald's. She's loving it. <laughs> I'm serious. I do believe that. So to get an update, here is an aerial map, Google map footage, aerial view, whatever you want to call it, of Coyote Pass. As you can see, there's a couple of few objects on Coyote Pass besides some logs. So, I mean, that's a plus. <laughs> the rest of it is some trees. I have noticed a change since, like, looking it up last year say, literally like a year ago on Google Maps, it didn't pull up the actual lots that were, you know, had some numbers on it, you get what I'm saying, that were labeled as actual lots. Well, now they are labeled as actual lots. So, they do have their own little numbers and addresses. This right here is a little nugget. Here's a little Easter egg for y'all. Here's some tea. Here's some tea. Are y'all ready for this? Y'all know whose house this is? Does it look familiar? This was the Browns' house in Utah before they moved to Vegas. Look at the van in the driveway. It could be just a big coinky dink big coinky dink that the van in the driveway this year at the Brown family home looks identical to Robin's. Like I said, could be a coinky dink but does that not look like Robin's van to y'all? <laughs> it did to me. When I Google mapped it just for, you know, just for giggles, just for being nosy, I was like, ain't no way. Is that Robin's van up in the driveway? Surely it's just a coinky dink. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to keep a watch on that. Now, people have been saying that they think they're going to move back to Utah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think they want to go back to Utah. 
I think they are happy being in the mountains, being over there in Flagstaff. And I think these two right here, because Robin said she wanted a big house, a bunch of land. You know, she, she ain't trying to move around all this much. And I also want to point out Robin's name is on a house in Flagstaff that one of her kids is staying in. So there's that T. Her kids are going to college in Flagstaff. She ain't, she ain't about to leave him kids. Come on now. Let's let's think reality here. Let's think common sense and let's quit thinking, oh, yeah, she's going to move because the kids said, well, or McKelty said they might move back to Utah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they are right where they want to be. I think a lot of that hoopla is just to pique interest or try to pique interest. They're trying to make fans tune in to see what Robin and Cooter's next move is. And I don't think that's it. I think it's already, that's already ran its course. I don't think anybody's interested in that. I told Donnie the other day, and he does not even watch the show. I said, I honestly think that the Sister Wives fan base has now kind of gravitated to strictly Christine and Janelle, mainly Christine, and what she's doing. Like, they're following Christine. They want to know about Christine. We want to know about what Christine is up to. We don't care about these two because they're just, in my opinion, your true colors come out. You get what I'm saying? They've showed their colors, and it ain't pretty. But like I said, we all got our own opinions, and I do want to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know about that van. <laughs> do y'all think it's just a huge coincidence, or do you think that they still have some sort of ownership in the property in the Utah house? I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. But I do want to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up and share this video. I really would appreciate it. Like I said, it is very important that you comment below because I want to know what y'all are thinking. Like, seriously. So, meet me down in the comments below, okay? Smash that subscribe button. If you have not already, click that bell beside subscribe to all. That way, you'll be notified if YouTube decides to send out notifications. And y'all know you want to be notified on the latest and the greatest and the factual and the hot Sister Wives tea. You don't want to be just let on by these other creators who just run a narrative. I better hush, okay? I better hush. I ain't trying to dog nobody else, but I am dogging the people who can't get the story right. You get what I'm saying? Hi. <laughs> I love y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video.